lattice block. It's 12 inch finished. Here is the diagram. And this is block two of two. The first block, which was released yesterday, is 0324 star block. So you might want to go back and check that block. And these two, that the star block and the lattice block go together to make this quilt. In this video, I'm going to go over the instructions for one block, just like I usually do for the block of the day. And then on included in the instructions are two extra pages for piecing the quilt. It gives the yardage for the background, the light, medium, and dark fabrics. Then it tells you how to piece the star block. This is strip piecing for the four patch. And then the rest of the block is done just like we did in the video for the star block. And then the second page is piecing the lattice block and this is done with strip piecing as well. Since you're doing 17, 18 blocks, it's easier to do it in strip piecing. So this is a little bit different than the block we're going to go over today. It's the same block, but today we're just going to do one block and this tells you how to do, I think it's 17 blocks. For the, for the lattice. There are patches A through F for this one. It's very easy to cut. The A patch is cut three and a half inches by three and a half inches and we need four patches for the background and these go in the corners, the A's. The B patch is cut one and a half inches by twelve and a half inches and it is the dark fabric and they go here. Here are the B patches. The C patch is cut four and a half inches by three and a half inches, and they go along the sides of the quilt. E patch is cut four and a half inches by one and a half inches, and these go here in the center. And the F patch is cut four and a half inches by four and a half inches and it goes here in the center. Here are the fabrics I've chosen and they correspond to the star block that we did yesterday. The background is the same white fabric. Here are the lattice pieces. This is the one and a half by twelve and a half inches and there are two of them here. Here is the C patch which goes along the outside edges and then these are the little of the dark lattice pieces that go between everything. And here is the light fabric for the center. Now I'm just going to lay out the block and tell you a little bit more about it and then we'll piece the block. Okay, I've laid these pieces out according to the diagram. The A patches are on the outside. These white patches here are C patches. These are D patches. E patches, F patches, and B patches the long ones. I'm going to piece these how they would look as if you were strip piecing them. If you look at this this column here and this column here, they're the same thing. So these will be pieced with, by strip piecing. We'll just take strips, sew the strips together, so it's one, two, three, four, five strips you sew together, then you subcut them, and then you have your pieces like this. Then you'll have another set of strips for the center of the block. So once you piece the, all the three columns, then you just put them together with this lattice piece in between them. All the columns have been pieced. Now I'm going to sew this lattice piece between the columns and this one between the columns. And I wanted to show you how you can match up these. If I take this out, you want your lines to line up all the way across these lines here. Sometimes if you put it, if you're sewing it together and you're not paying too much attention, it will look like this. So these lines will, will not be straight across. I'm going to show you how you can make sure that these are straight across when you sew them together. I have the lattice piece sewn on each of these sides, but I haven't pressed them yet. What I'm going to do is I want to mark where these are going to match up with this. And this is, is an easy one, and I'm just going to use pins. See, I've lined up the pin with this, this seam line right here. Let's put another one in here. 
that one's lined up and that one and that one. Now what I'm going to do next is put this right sides together and now you can see where these are going to match up. See that? And then these will match here. So I'll pin those and then sew it that way and they should be matched up. And here's our lattice block. All the lattice pieces are lined up. Here's the back. All the seams are pressed open. And now we'll put it together with the star block from last time. And when these go together, there's only one seam to match. This one right here. And these are kind of offset here. So you'll just match that seam and that seam and the top and bottom when you put those together. It doesn't look like anything right now, but when you put them together in rows, you'll start seeing the the circle forming. Thanks for watching.